Okay, today we're making kombucha. And my assistant Ellie, you guys have met her in the hair video. We're paying to Michael. This is Hello. My sweet Ellie. Hi. My second brain. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're making kombucha and she's made it for. I haven't. So boil water is the first step. You guys, my stove. What flavor are we making? That's a great question. I haven't even thought about that. Yet. I just want <laughs> to make the either. base because it has to sit for like eight days or something like that. Yeah. Um, kombucha has to sit and ferment for about a week or so. So uh, I just thought I'd make the base and I thought I'd film because why not? I'm trying to be more consistent here. Okay, so I'm using coconut sugar because I watched this video of this very kombucha knowledgeable woman <laughs> named Donna <laughs> and Donna I bought like her all of her stuff um her company is called cultured food life um so if you guys want to check her out she's really cool it's like how I'm learning how to make it and she like has this YouTube video where she talks about how cool it is but anyway she said that coconut sugar tastes the best um so that's what we're doing oh my god do you want to grab the scoby yeah, look how cute it is. Where it's, is in, it? it's in that cabinet. Bobby is cabinet. my favorite part because he's so precious. Look and at how little. cute. He started growing already since we got him like when? Last week? Yeah. He's already a little yeah. bit bigger. I'm proud oh, of our, our little, little baby. baby. <laughs> Do you guys know it's a full moon tonight? Today is a great day to cleanse, get rid of old stuff, out with the old and with the new, my friend Sarah. Who I actually um, went to high school. We didn't go to high school together, but we were friends in high school. Anyways, um, she's teaching me about all this stuff, and I'm super excited because I'm so into like spirituality, astrology, all that kind of stuff. So, anyways, back to kombucha. Can you need a wooden spoon? Yes. Yeah. I need to stir. This vlog is about to be all over the place. I made protein, gluten free, cane sugar free brownies. <laughs> And they're really good for pre-workout because they have great macros, they taste good, they have good carbs, sugar, protein, everything you need before you work out. Anyways, I have recipes on Keach Beach now. I'm doing like weekly recipes, so I thought it would be fun. Um, kind of share like what I eat and how I make my food. But, you made these brownies. I'm actually going to insert a really cute picture right here that we took and posted it. Um, so go check out my fitness page if you want some healthy recipes. Hold on. While we wait for the water to boil, I'm gonna show you what Cornet did. This little butt head pissed on the couch. You can't see anymore because I cleaned it. But on our nice white cloud couch, he literally peed right there. It's going away, thank God. So let's check on him. I put him in a timeout in his crate. And he, he's a good boy, he's not whining, he, he knows what he did, he knows it was wrong! Like why do it if you know what happened? Oh my corn nut. You know you're a bad boy? I don't know why this is on, sorry buddy. You notice you're a bad boy, corny. I still love you, but I'm not happy. I love you. Okay, I'm gonna let you out, because you have been in here. For a little bit, okay? Oh! <laughs> you wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Go outside! Go on, Corny! <laughs> he does this every time I let him out. He's like, Mom, I wanna be with you, but I also wanna go play. Oh! So I have my little teaspoons. I'm gonna do four to five of these. Oh my God, it literally smells like perfume. It smells delicious. Three. Four. Then I'm gonna do half five. Okay. So it looks like this right now. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
Kind of looks gross. It is the next day and the kombucha is brewing. Um, excuse my crazy look, my makeup is half done, but I wanted to run over here and show you what I've been doing every single morning before my bone broth boils out. But anyways, I've been making me and Michael bone broth. He likes the beef and I like the chicken. This is by far the best um, brand I've ever had. And I like to have this in the morning on an empty stomach if it's really healing for your gut. A lot of people have been saying that actually replaces their coffee. However, it gives them like a long, steady energy rather than a quick like caffeine jolt. Um, but if you're interested in bone broth and its benefits, go look it up. This is a great brand. What are you no, rummaging through for? I just put two scoops of flow state instead of two scoops a of A flow state? What is flow state, babe? It's for like focus and stuff. Oh. But You'll be super focused. I know, but it kind of makes, <laughs> it makes me too focused. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm already like, I feel like pretty alert most of the time. Mm. And when I take that stuff, I get like, I feel like I zone out of my reality. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is what I'm We're in this for it. We're in for it today. This is a little Pro Mix BCAAA. So. BCAAA. <laughs> you think I can scoop this out off the top and save the pre workout? Maybe. Performing surgery here. That's, I mean, you're doing pretty good. Pretty successful. You're pretty proud. You're still gonna be, oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Hey, babe. Thank you, Bunba. It's too hot. It's not too you hot. You gotta cool down, look. Steam. It's, it's been cooling down. I know. Okay, I think the little doggies wanna say hi. You say hello, little babies. They've been chasing cats all day. Day, huh? <laughs> little corn nut. He can only like get his little eyes above that. Okay, I know that you guys have been waiting for a kombucha update. <laughs> so here we are. Looks pretty foul, to be honest. Um, but she's brewing. She's got a couple more days left. The dogs are so crazy. Literally, they go finish their food and then they go to each other's bowls and like goes and like see if they have any more. There's some weird competitive thing. They got in the biggest fight yesterday. I gave them like one of those bones with beef or something inside of it. And they literally started fighting and Corna starts going, ah, 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 and like freaking out and like Mooj is like barking. <laughs> And they go in like a full-on fight, like growling at each other, like not even a play fight. It was kind of crazy to see. Cornet can really hold his own, man. Okay, anyways, I just got back from the grocery store, dropped Mike off at the gym, so that's where he is. And I'm going to unload all the groceries. Maybe I'll show you a little bit of what we get. Um, we can also do a separate, like, full grocery haul if that's what you want. Okay, just going to do a really... <laughs> what did you hear? I love listening to her little paws go throughout the house. Okay, back to groceries. Just a quick little haul. We can go into depth in another video if you want. But we got some coconut yogurt. We got some dates, coconut water, fruits, um, sauerkraut because of gut health. Then we always get this jasmine steamed rice that you can put in the microwave, which is not very good to put in the microwave. But it's quick and easy, especially for people like us who are busy. I got some <laughs> ice cream. I think we talked about this in one of our last videos, but this is like the cleanest ice cream you could ever even buy. Some tart cherry juice for my kombucha that I am brewing in that cabinet over there. <laughs> um, then some bagels for Michael's like pre-workout. Some nut butters, honey, olive oil, ketchup, and of course, Broth. Got some beef, some filet mignon, and then some grass-fed flat iron steak. Can't find 100% grass-fed filet mignons anywhere, so let me know if you guys know of a good place. Um, anyways, we got some sausage and some turkey bacon. Why is there not a shortage for the food out? What? What did you just say to me? That's right. Got red handed. <laughs> Say it again. I love you. <laughs> he yelled from the kitchen, Why isn't their dinner ready? Can I just pick your 
us up from the gym, okay? And unloaded all the groceries. But I guess that's my cue. <laughs> dinner time. I'm gonna make some dinner and then get ready for bed. But I'll check back in tomorrow. See Good you tomorrow. Idea, we love you. Mwah. Good morning. It is the next day. And I'm just gonna apply my lip liner really quick. I have a very busy day. I have like multiple appointments. Um, I have a dermatologist appointment because I don't know if I told you guys on this channel. But you can kind of see I've been having some like skin rash issues. It's not pimples. And I know that because when I pop it, like, because I thought it was a pimple, it turns, like, bright red for, like, at least an hour and starts, like, itching. And I think I figured it out because within the month it took for me to get a dermatologist appointment because everyone is so booked out, I did some research and I think that it is contact dermatitis from my argan oil. I put argan oil in my hair at least three times a week and I sleep in it. Sometimes I spend two days in it. I bleach my hair so I want to do everything I can to get it back to be healthy and this has helped my hair so much. So if you're not allergic to argan oil, it's, it's good. So anyways, I'm going to the dermatologist for that just because I have had this literally since July. That's when I started like oil masking like on like a consistent schedule. Um, and it started off really small, so I didn't notice it. I just thought it was, like, texture. So, um, I asked my esthetician, like, oh, what can I use? She's like, oh, use, like, glycolic A or something. Um, but we didn't know, like, it was actually allergic reaction, which I'm still assuming that's what it is. But I'm really hoping that's the case because I've literally cut everything out of my diet thinking maybe it could be something that I'm eating. Like, I thought it was red meat because me and Michael switched our diet as you know, to like all grass-fed um, beef and like dairy and all that. And I was like, oh, maybe it's that. And I cut that out for like a month, it's still nothing. So it has to be the argan oil, okay. And then we also are meeting with a designer today for our house, which I'm so excited about. But anyways, we have a meeting with her today. And then um, I'm gonna do some hot yoga. Oh my gosh, the craziest thing happened to me was that, no, it was two nights ago. Oh my God, literally, I almost pulled my muscle in my sleep. I, it was so cold. Right now in Tennessee, it's like 30 degrees. Let me 39 degrees. And Michael gets really hot in his sleep and I get really cold. So it's honestly not the great, the best mix. Um, but anyways, I was so cold that, and I like, I try to sleep on my back because, you know, wrinkles and um, gravity and stuff like that. <laughs> I try to sleep on my back, but anyways, I put a pillow underneath my knees because it helps me. And when I do that, like, something in my hip, since my leg was, like, up and I was freezing and, like, tensed up, like, in my sleep, I woke up and I tried to move my leg and it was literally stuck. Like, I felt like if I were to move it, I was going to pull it. It was so painful. <laughs> And I was like, Michael, I'm freezing. I think I just pulled my muscle. And he was like, what? And he was, he was not having it because I disrupted his sleep. But I swear I pulled my muscle. It was so bad. And then I had to like, just like bang it out and like try to warm it up with my hand. And then I moved my, um, my knee like outward so my hips would like open up. Um, and it popped and it was fine. And it, I don't know, it's like, Something, let me kind of like something like right here was like stuck on my hip. I don't know. In the middle of the night, I basically pulled the muscle in my sleep. Does anybody else, like in the middle of the morning when they're like getting breakfast, think like Apple Watch and they forgot to put on their Apple Watch and they run over to it? Because that is me every single morning. I always forget and then I miss my whole morning of calories that I burned. Oh my gosh, my bone broth is boiling. Ah! And this is right. for my king, for Michael. Yeah, I hope so. For you. What up? Bone broth. Oh, for me? Yes. For meeting you. dates. What about a thank you? Thank you. Okay. Let's 
you looking all sexy in your gray sweatpant outfit. It's gray sweatpants season, you guys. I'm weak. What do you have to say about your gray sweatpants? It's cozy. We are about to go into hot yoga. Huh? Bebe, what are we doing? Huh? Hot yoga. What's up, damn fam? Woo! About to do some yoga. I haven't done it in a minute, and I'm very excited. So, we love we hot need yoga. This. If you haven't tried it, go to your local studio yep. and force Power your friend vinyasa flow to do it. Yes. Peace. Peace. Luck. See you after, babe. What? Give us an update. We did yoga, kicked our ass, felt great. Now we're picking up Thai food. We also and picked up steaks and then we <laughs> were driving down um, a street in our town and saw some Thai food and decided to get that. <laughs> yes, we did. It's going to be good. I can smell it. Let's get on the road, babe. Come on, let's move it. Okay, damn fam next morning and we are actually leaving for my hometown for Thanksgiving but thought we'd close this vlog out here while <sighs> guys it's cold I'm tired I'm closing out our weekly vlog oh, okay bye guys we love you so much we'll I'm see cold you and in I'm tired Sonoma County. <laughs> <laughs> bye, bye.